because I speak one-to-one -one with people, so speaking up so loud is not what I naturally do. <laughs> but because the situation is so dire, I have to change what I normally speak so that my voice can be heard. Um, I don't have the kids coming to the Kennewick School District. Uh, my uh, youngest goes to Hanford the last year of Hanford. But still, it is so important as uh, uh, Micah has pointed out that we have to be united in this in order for those who are controlling uh, know that this is not just one or two people speaking out, this is the whole mass, the whole populace speaking out. And I'm speaking out of experience as someone who grew up in China under the thumb of the government where you have no right. And that's the reason why I love coming to America, why I love to be in here. Because you have a right. Otherwise, I would have gone back to China. Right. And when, uh, a few days ago, when, when what happened in Afghanistan happens, I wrote on my Facebook post, Facebook post that, uh, Mr. Biden, your job is to take care of the defense of this country. Yeah. It's my job to take care of the defense of my body. Right. You do yours, then me do mine. But he's not doing a good job in what he should be doing, taking care of the defense of the nation. I mean, look at the southern border. Yeah. Look at the Af Afghanistan. And what do you call when someone is doing such a bad job? We call them incompetent terrorists. And then when someone like that tries to take over your job, yeah. that should be my own right to take care of my own body, yeah. they call, we call him a tyrant. Yeah. 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 So now, all tyrants start taking over your right like that. There's a crisis, you are afraid of whatever, whether it's famine, whether it's a severe needs or disease. They create this kind of fear that you will look for them to help. So I look to them for help. Just like in the book of the Genesis, when the Egyptians were, were, were starving, they went to Pharaoh and said, hey, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, here's my cattle, take it, give me grain. And next year they went back and say, hey, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, here's my land, take it, give me grain. At the end, they say, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, here's our children, here's myself, we'll serve you, we'll be your slave, just give us food. And that's how step by step we're going to lose our freedom, our rights. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so I know this is about the local government and school board. And I will say the same thing. School, school board, your job is to defend what idea comes into our school district. And let the parents decide what's the defense for the children's health. So if they, they let the district wide open to those bad ideas like critical race theory, uh, comprehensive uh, sex education that cause people, uh, you know, young kids to be exposed to pornography, or the idea that math doesn't really have a correct answer, anyone who believes hard work is uh, racist, those are the idea that they should have defended against. But instead of doing a good job at defending the school district, they try to take over your job as parents to decide whether your kids need a shot or your kids need the mask. Now, if you decided that your kids would benefit from the shot, which I doubt, I, you know, I think I'm not a hardcore anti-vaxxer. I've taken every single vaccine until this one. But, but with this one, there's something that's very fishy. Because people who have had the infection, they have naturally acquired immunity. They still said, you have to have the vaccine. Then you say, no, no, that, that's not right. There's no science to support that. So if they don't, if they're forcing something on you, 
you that science doesn't support, you know there is another agenda. It's not about whether you believe uh, that is right for you. It's whether you will submit, whether you're afraid of losing your spot in the school, whether you're afraid of losing your spot in your job. So if we are afraid, then one by one they take us out. Are you afraid of losing your job? If not, come to our camp. It's just like the same way as uh, um, Michael was mentioning or, or Brad. You know, why did the Taliban take over their vast of land? Because uh, they forced people to come over to their camp. The other side, you know, one by one they submit to their terror. So we cannot do that. We have to stand up together so that our rights would not be crushed. And whether it's about the mask, about the vaccine, it is about our right to decide for ourselves.